Alright guys, even here in this video we're gonna talk about the truth about Sintel and quote-unquote Sintel freaks in bodybuilding and fitness industry. Let's begin this talk about this topic by asking you a question. Do you even know what Sintel is? If you think that's what Rich Piana had in his arms and shoulders, okay, chest, forearms, traps, probably calves too. Alright, in his whole body pretty much. Well, if that is what you think Sintel is, then you are wrong. It is not. Sintel is the site enhancement oil. It is something most professional bodybuilders are using and 9 times out of 10, if it is done right, you won't be able to notice it. What if I told you that some of the bodybuilders with the most aesthetic physiques that are representing that classic look were using it? What if I told you that Milos Sharchev, arguably the most aesthetic guy from the 90s, used to stuff his genetically poor biceps with Sintel? He did. Admittedly so. You can also watch Rich Piana's video when he talks about his experience with Sintel, in which he says that he heard from somebody that Flex Wheeler was injecting 20 cc's in his arms hours before competition. Rich tried this and his arms never looked worse. So it certainly wasn't true. But in every lie there is a little bit of truth. Flex must have used at least some of it in his career, which is pretty obvious, judging by the fact that his arms are still looking pretty strangely big compared to the rest of his body. Anyway, let me tell you what the real purpose of Sintel or any side enhancement oil actually is. And before we keep talking, I also want to tell you that Sintel is the word that I'm going to use in this video instead of naming all the other enhancement oils, which pretty much have the same purpose, but they do slightly differ in terms of cost, painfulness, effectiveness and other things. So the purpose of Sintel is actually to push your muscles to the skin. In order for it to do that, you must inject it very deep under the muscle. That is how you do it properly. If your arms look like water balloons, then you messed it up, you did it wrong. There is another thing about Sintel. It hurts like hell. After the injection, you will barely be able to flex the muscle, let alone train it. If you ever got an injection at doctors, you know that it usually hurts quite a bit afterwards. Sintel is 10 times more painful than that. And I'm talking about only a few cc's of it, max. If you took 10 cc's, you would be screaming in pain. So now that you know what Sintel actually is, I will help you understand that those quote-unquote Sintel freaks are actually not using that stuff. If they injected that much of that stuff in their arms, they would be in agonizing pain and would not be able to flex. Actually, not to flex because there is no muscle to flex in the first place, but to pose and to smile for the camera. What these guys have in their muscles is something else and we have no idea what the hell it is. In that video that I mentioned before about Rich Piana's experience with Sintel, he did not lie. He did try Sintel only once and didn't like it and he stopped using it. But this does not mean that his body is made out of real muscle. You don't have to be an expert to notice that something was wrong with it and that it didn't look real. There is an interview with his ex-girlfriend in which he says that Rich used to go to Mexico and literally had somewhat of plastic surgery. He paid a lot of money for this and they basically opened his arms and put some stuff inside it. Some say it's silicon, some say it's collagen. Whatever it is, it's definitely not synthetic and most certainly it's not real muscle. He first did his arms and then later pretty much his whole body. If you take a look at his physique, you will notice that without this enhancement, it really looks average, right? The same thing applies to these so-called Sintel freaks. They don't have any muscle on them. They did not make what they have with Sintel. They're pretty much the same thing as these girls with silicon in their breasts and glutes. I really hate even talking about them, but I really have to give you my opinion on this topic. Sintel freaks should not have anything to do with the fitness industry. If you followed Lee Marcus' channel, he used to talk a lot about them. Those videos did get a lot of views, but I personally skipped most of them. I was simply interested in bodybuilding only, not in these silicon freaks. They have nothing to do with bodybuilding and fitness. All they are is a bunch of idiots that spent a lot of money on plastic surgeries or who knows what, and now they look like abominations. They look so disgusting that that is the only reason why people are interested in watching them. I just don't like that bodybuilding and fitness related channels are talking about them because they have nothing to do with that. And this is gonna be the only video that I'm gonna make about them. And I just wanted to give you my thoughts on this and to explain a few things to those who weren't informed properly and had some misconceptions about Sintel. Sintel freaks do not even use Sintel and they have nothing to do with muscle or fitness. That's gonna do it for this 
this video guys. By the way, what do you guys think about those gnomes? And also, what do you think about this kind of videos which I actually prepared a script for and edited it a little bit more? Tell me what you think about these videos. I decided to make them occasionally, maybe like once a week. And the others would be more freestyle with the flow. And if you know any more information about Synthol and Sight Enhancement Oils, leave a comment down below. I will be happy to hear your thoughts and I will make sure to reply to every single comment of yours. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you very much guys. Bye bye.